That is a good win. That is a resume filler. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You can um, see Palutena and Zelda to start this. Oh, okay. This is interesting. Tommy a Zelda name, which, you know, just looking at that, he's beaten Olimar with Zelda. Which this is going to be a teleport heavy match. Oh, uh, okay. Really Jump steady will. already, beginning with uh, those, nair those nair planes. Already so much damage. That's just Palutena, though. Absolutely. She can take you from 0 to 100 in one second. Imagine this one's going to be a real zoning heavy game just because Zelda just completely in, but... Palu has the ability to go up close, but if she wants to keep you in the distance, she can just do it really well with all her tools. Right. Palutena's play style often just ends up matching that of their opponents. If they're playing a zoner, they will end up being a zoner. If they're playing a rushdown character, they will counter oh. that. Good up B. Almost gets it right there with the up B right from the bottom. Send you flying up you when you're up. And I also like, oh no. Oh. I was about to say, I liked the use of Auto Reticle from Jump Steady to just destroy the Dark Knight. I liked the use of Auto Reticle. <laughs> well. Okay, but yeah, he's he's already coming back at it, swinging, but the um, Kami catches him. Trap. Probably one of those situations where the idea was right and the execution was a bit off. Oh, yeah. Traps him with the Explosive Flame. Manag yeah, manages to use the Explosive Flame to, to get back on it, which is real smart. But he still hasn't taken this first stop, and that's real bad. No, he hasn't. We're backing up the minute. Oh, here. there it is. There it is. Star KO. But some nice extra credit, 55%. And now more. We'll have to see if Tommy ends up chasing Jump Steady offstage. We've seen it very sparingly so far in that fourth match. Very ill-advised. See, no, that up B was very ill-advised. That 40% right there. One combo, one punish, just on that up. Still though, Kami still is still up. Now, this is not. This is a lot more even than it was 30 seconds ago. That's for sure. But Kami's had some real nice uh, traps. He's done a very good job using the Phantom in particular to keep Jump Steady off balance and get those setups where there's just nothing Jump Steady can do but take a whole bunch of damage. See. Another Phantom Trap, always so good. And it just teleports around some ah. of that offstage pressure, but Tommy's now up to one. Ooh. Just, yeah, he was unable to make it back just due to the plethora of what was being if thrown he out of the Kami may be having a very good tournament today. Yeah, already one statement win. Can he find another? We'll have to close out one more stock to do so. No damage so far. But, oh, there it is. There it is. Now he's finally getting that extra credit. Even these trades are, you know, pertaining to be a lot more helpful ooh, than you thought. Ooh, ooh, ooh. You never want to be caught in that situation when you're just holding it. 40% uh, already on Jump Steady on his last stock. Those types of situations, that's where the panic really starts to set in. Good on him for not throwing out an emergency option. Okay, catches him. This is going to be... Uh, okay, there it is. There you go. Back air. Close out the stock. And only 40% to make up. This is absolutely doable. Palutena, that's one combo. Absolutely. Okay. Tom is going in now. A lot of dash attacks. Good job. Right. This is a situation. The stocks. The stocks are even. The percents are about even. So we're going to see him retreat probably a little bit more. Um, this is what I love to see. This is one of those moments. Yeah. This is. Would you expect uh, anything else out of this matchup? Oh. Get some off stage for the dash attack. Nice teleport to ledge. Oh, he whiffed? No, he doesn't whiff. He meets this with a shield the second time. Okay, nice dash attack. Has him, has Kami off stage. Kami's still up by just a little bit, but you know, Palutena has all that kill power, but it's basically even. Right, and every time, you know, Tommy is going oh, to just start approaching with some of these backers, trying to find the finishing blow. Oh, there it is. There it is. Game one goes to Kami on his hunt. His second big upset. Yeah, I was about to say he could close him out with potentially a reflector or a counter or just a shield of his own. But Didn't right even there, need it. Just bam, kick to the face. Sometimes the gung-ho option, the obvious option, is the right option, as Kami just proved right there. Correct me if I'm wrong, Zelda's forward air out of shield I don't think is especially 
fast to come out. It but is, and we're going to see a switch from Jump Steady, it looks like, going to Zero Suit. Really? Yeah, okay, that makes sense. Potentially a bit more favorable in the matchup. Um, a lot of blondes on the screen. No, the Alfie has green hair. Uh, let's see. Yeah. Switch makes sense after that last game, especially because you want someone faster who can get around that bend, who can get around all of Zelda's little tricks. Right, we're where Jump Steady ended up losing game one is around that second stock where he just got out zoned. And rather than trying to play his own game, rather than trying to play uh, Tommy's game, rather, he's just going to try and play his own game and counter some of these. Uh, I'm surprised there wasn't the punishment. Okay, let's see. Let's see. Has him off stage. Once again, we're al already seeing Kami is building up a strong lead. It doesn't matter that he made the that Jump Steady made a switch. Kami's just seems to be getting in on him. Right, Kami's strengths in the early game with the side B and the neutral B. Oh, nice paralyzer. Oh, is that? Oh, okay, no. no Zelda has recovery from Miles. I thought he drifted down too low as well, but even from, you know, those types of depths, we'll make it back. Let's see. Nice play on the neutral. Okay, jump steady managed to get in with the grab. Oh, oh he gets the flip kick. Gets the flip kick for the first time in the set. He's actually up. Yeah, after a very testy start to the first stock, just manages to close it emphatically. And Zelda with a back air. Tommy finishes, only taking 6% in the process. Let's see. But we're, evens it right back up. Let's see. Catches him. Nice punish. Tries to go for a combo, but it doesn't make it. But, oh, nice zoning. Catches him with the bend. Oh! Oh, see, he tried to run in on uh, the charge down smash, but, you know, it's that thing with the zero suit Samus charge down smash, where it just, it will get you anyway, even if you call it out, just because it has such, uh, such a big hitbox. Obviously, ZSS is a lot of her neutral tools so safe on shield, uh, although that is not going to be safe on Reflector. Gets him in the rapid jab, and how will he manage to retain stage control now? It is perfectly even here. We are 1% different. Well, we're 1% different. Has Kami off stage. What's he going to do? Oh, the whip. catches him on the neutral getup. Gets that stock. Let's go jump steady. And this character switch already looking like the right play. Trying to catch him with that smash four right there. I mean, uh, we are on town and city, but it's not its not that much of a throwback. That's true. We are seeing a Zelda on screen, but Jump Steady's doing a good job. He's hes uh, building up the lead. Oh, but almost taken out by that teleport from midstage. Yeah, I was going to say, just 80% and change almost killed right there. Trying to keep him off the lead. Trying to keep him on the side. Nice zoning game, but uh, forward air out of shield, which is probably a bit faster than I'm giving him credit for. Absolutely. Gets him with the aerial whip. Although that forward smash attempt is just going to be met with another back air. Tommy has been loving that option so far. Finally gets the kill, but we're looking at 100%. This is doable, but not fun territory right here. Rolls to avoid the down smash. That is not the type of option you're going to throw out down 118%. Kami has to play out of his mind right now. Yeah, gets, the, gets the nice combo right here, manages to catch it down air. Yeah, I like the up tilt catch, uh, although oh. he's just going to get spiked on stage with the flip kick. Fast option that forward, that, uh, forward tilt. Oh, uh, there it is. There it is. Gets him with the whip, but he's still in. Kami's still in. He's living for now. Uh, okay, now. Now, catches him with the forward air as he's trying to land. And that's 1-1. One, one. We're going to see game three here. Immediately, we just saw that character switch pay off in spades so far. That up air, those up air chains that he didn't manage to fully convert off of, but still control neutral pressed his advantage state and rack up early percents as well. Well, it took a second. For a little while there, Kami was still managing to push that lead, but something clicked with Jump Steady right near the end there. We're going to see Battlefield for game three. I don't think that signifies a character switch on Kami's part, but we will see. 
he is hesitating. Battlefield's interesting, yeah. You would think with the zoner that he would, wouldn't would want to give Zero Suit all those platforms, especially because Zero Suit can use those platforms to extend the combos. Right. The Zero Suit, as one might call it. Okay, already we're seeing the whip come out there. He's such a fast character. Zero Suit has just has so much range. Yeah, she really does. She not only range, but speed as well on certain moves. Spot dodge. A bit yeah. kill advise, and it's just going to lead to a small grab. Keeping it close. Let's see. Catches him with the grab. Rapid grab. He's pressing him. He's pressing him, but Common manages to make it back with the teleporter. Yeah, he really is. If he was willing to go off stage on Town and City, he'll definitely be willing to go off stage on Battlefield. Get up attack. Going to leave him with about 25% lead. Yeah, he was sharking for a minute there. Kami was on those platforms, just like, where do I go from here? And well, apparently, the answer is the blast zone. Yeah, 100% to 0%. Not quite the option. Comes out swinging, but it's a nice combo. That forward smash evens it out right there. Yeah, jump steady just saying, or Kami just saying, anything you can do, I can do as well. Are we going to get it? Are we going to get that Game 3 last stock situation here? We might be seeing that. It's already looking nice. Kami is using those phantoms to space him out, but Jump Steady managed to get through for a few hits. Catches him with the uh, up tilt, I believe. Or was it that smash? Yeah, and another reason why Battlefield may not have been the pick, that up smash does reach through the platform. That might be devastating later on. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Good back air. Keep, keep him with the ledge trap. Tried to use that down smash in order to paralyze him if you tried that neutral get up. But... Back throw this time. Not looking to combo off of the throw. Just looking to retain or regain uh, control. Good forward smash from Tommy. But he, he was almost hit bad though because he, tri he was hit with the parry on that uh, teleport. And there could have been a punishment. Oh, he oh. grounds him, and that boost kick just enough to close out the stock. That down and up. Catches him with the uh, Phantom, though. The Phantom. Oh. I Jump like Steady wants that extra credit. He does not want it to go last stock with just a few percent difference. He wants to build up that lead here. Yeah, interesting. We're seeing the dash attack from Jump Steady near the ledge. With, you know, with all of ZSS's kit, I didn't think that we'd be seeing that, but you know, more than a mix-up as it, you know, as it just seems, it, it's more than viable. I mean, contrary to some people, <laughs> Mars, most people believe that ZSS is actually just a great character and just has a great kit. Absolutely. Uh, it's so much of it links into other moves. You know. And we're seeing it right now. We're seeing those Smash 4 type ladders gets another 20% push right there. Yeah, we're not only seeing link moves link into other moves, we're seeing moves link into themselves. Specifically that out there. Jump Steady is just building up this lead, though. He does not want to take this all the way to last stop situation. 71% and climbing. Gets him with the down smash and the up B. And there it is right there. Paralyze, ups, uh, up, uh, up, 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 yes. The boost kick. The rocket heel, the... And there it is. Jump Steady advances to, I believe, face Nico. Now that will be a good match. We just saw, you know, Nico on stream one set ago, so... Uh, that's Zenyu coming up right there. Right, it is. 